And when it comes to e-commerce, you can get data from different places. You can get de- you can get data from your CMS platform, which is either Shopify or WooCommerce. You can get data from your Meta Ads Manager, your TikTok Ads Manager. If you're running Snapchat Ads, even if you're running Google Ads or things like that. But you don't want to be that person that has to go to these different platforms and then aggregate your data, download it, put it in an Excel sheet, all those amazing things. Instead, you can just use Google Analytics, right? So you can use Google Analytics made by Google and then you can have access to every information in one place. In this particular video, I'm going to walk you through my Google Analytics dashboard and show you the kind of things I look out for to make good decisions, to improve my website, to know, to look at what's flagging or what's causing issues and things like that. Now, the first tab you see here is the home tab. So this home tab shows you a quick overview of what has happened within the last seven days, right? So you will see things like active users, new users, event counts, and purchases that has happened in, my, in this particular store within the last seven days. Now, the difference between active users and new users is that when somebody lands on your store once for the first time, that's an, a new user. If somebody comes to your store multiple times, maybe they like what they saw, but they didn't have money, so they came back later, or they like what they saw, they forgot about your store, went to do something else, and along the way, they would not remember that, oh, I was actually looking at this store, and then go back to your website. That particular person that goes back to your website will be an active user. They wouldn't record it twice as a new user, right? So that's the difference between active user and new user. One of the things you want to focus on is the reports. So this is a beginner's tutorial, so I'm just going to focus on reports. We're not going to look at explore or advertising. Now, in the report section, you will see something similar to the snapshots from the home tab so if you look at the left panel you will notice that this particular section shows you a lot of different parts of google analytics so it shows you a business objective part it shows you a life cycle part it shows you user attributes things like that now we're going to focus on only the life cycle the reason why i say this is as an e-commerce business when it comes to e-commerce the key things you want to focus on are just three things basically acquisition right we're going to talk about that later in this video engagement we're also going to talk about that in this um, video and monetization so those are the three key things we're going to look at in this video so i'm going to talk with this particular dashboard to show you what this store has done in the last 90 days instead of 28 days right and once i do that we are going to take a look at the acquisition um, section or area in this particular report yes so in the acquisition section, basically what we're doing here is looking at where people came from. So what, what brought people to our website? Was it a paid ad? If it was a paid ad, was it a paid ad on Instagram? Was it a paid ad on Facebook? Was it a paid ad on TikTok? Was it a paid ad on maybe a Google ad? Was it a paid ad on YouTube? Whatever it might be. When you look, this is what you're going to see. So here you can see each platform, paid social, you can see organic search, you can see organic social, things like that. With organic social, that's pretty, that's basically people that click the link in bio. So that's your organic social. Now for you to be sure which exact platform is bringing in the money. So when I say exact platform, if you look at paid social, it could be Facebook, it could be Instagram, it could be TikTok. But we want to know, is it Instagram? Is it Facebook? Is it TikTok? We don't want to just look at it as a whole or as a bucket and say, oh, paid social is bringing this amount of money or is bringing this number of people to my website, that kind of thing. So when you do that, you go to the session source medium. So source is, you know, where is the, where, where did these people see your link? And medium is what was the, what was the engagement? What, what was the plan for them to land on you? No, let me just show you. It's easier for me to show you than, um, and explain so where here you can see each platform direct is again as the name implies is direct when somebody puts your url in their in their safari or chrome or mobile browser or even or even desktop browser they put your url directly to www.daminiwilliams.com you put that in your url you will land directly on my website so that's why it's called direct the next one here is google organic so if if you don't know that my website is daminiwilliams.com and you just type Damini Williams and you click the first link that appears, right? The first Google um, organic link that appears, that is an organic search, all right? So that's pretty much it. 
Now, from the Instagram referral, that's basically people that click the link in bio. So you posted something on Instagram or you posted something on Facebook, people liked what they saw and then they clicked the link in your bio or they clicked the link in the story that you are tagged on Instagram. Something like that. Another thing for you to look at here is all the meta CPC and CPA links that you're looking at is all, all came from Instagram. So for CPC ads, those are our traffic ads. So CPC stands for cost per click. Where you see meta, it should have been Instagram. I will show you, these are things that we set up in the campaign URL builder. I will show you what that looks like. If you, I'll probably put it on the screen so you can see what it looks like. In that particular campaign URL builder, it's something that is owned by Google and it's connected to Google Analytics. So now we've looked at the traffic reports, okay? Remember I told you there are three reports you want to look at in this particular Google Analytics um, beginner tutorial. So after looking at the traffic, the acquisition traffic report, the next report we want to look at is the engagement report. And within the engagement report, we want to look at the landing page. The reason why the landing page is important is because that's the first page that most people that visit your website land on. Hence the name landing page. So I've blurred out the information on this particular page. Again, privacy reasons. But I would show you an example. If you go to a particular website that has numerous collections, okay? When you click on any of these collections, that will be sort of a landing page. If that's the first collection you use as an ad. If you visit this website without clicking any of these collection pages, the landing page will be the home page. All right. So this brought out information. Just imagine that it's one of these pages that are there. One thing that I like about the landing page is it also shows you which page brought in the most revenue. When you know what page brought in the most revenue, you can begin to create more ads to target that particular page so you can make some more money. And then those pages that are doing poorly, you can go in there and fix those pages. The third one is the monetization uh, report. In the monetization report, what we look at is the purchase journey report. The reason why I say you want to look at the purchase journey is because it gives you a snapshot. It gives you a very quick overview of where you need to make very quick changes. Just by looking at this particular bar chart, we can already see where we need to make some changes. So let me explain. Out of, let's say, approximately 6,000 sessions, right? About 1,600 went ahead to view our product in this particular website. Of those 1,600 that viewed the product, only about 16% went ahead to add to cart. Of those that added to cart, 64% of those that added to cart began the checkout process, right? Out of those 64% of people that started that checkout process, only 17% of the people that started the checkout process went ahead to make a final purchase. Just by looking at this particular bar chart, I already see two places that need immediate attention. The first place is viewing the product and adding to cart. That's step two and step three. Even step four to, to a certain degree. When you want to improve viewing products, how do you improve that? So you add more product information. You add more you know maybe testimonials you add more creatives videos how to use how to take care of the product you add all those kind of information to the to the to the product page that way whoever lands on the page they are seeing a good they are seeing a lot of information that helps them with their purchase decisions most of people that bounce out the reason why they bounce out is because the information on that page doesn't answer what they are looking for when it comes to add to cart, one of the things you can do is you can simplify the whole process. Instead of somebody giving you the name of your father, mother, and what's, what's the color of their left kidney, you can just make the whole thing very, very straightforward. Put in social logins. Put in, if you have purchased from us before, you don't have to do this again. If you have an account, maybe somewhere, um, well, with Shopify, some people, they just use their shop account details, but I don't think that's available in Nigeria. But those are the kind of things that you can use to simplify that add to cart process. So that's the beauty of Google Analytics. It gives you that overview. It gives you that sort of, well, the word they use is snapshot. It gives you that snapshot where you know exactly what's working, what's not working, and how to make quick decisions to improve it. So if you're looking to get into e-commerce, definitely having Google Analytics knowledge is is important. You know, it's a privilege. It can really change the game and make things easy for you. Your e-commerce journey, if you're looking to have someone like me guide you, 
avoid the pitfalls that I made and make that whole process smoother and simpler for you and get you to earning the big bucks as soon as possible. You can join the DMS Bootcamp. Uh, it's the first link in my description. If you're looking for e-commerce niches that you can start this year or even next year and go all in and really, really dominate, watch this video.